Okay. <clears throat> well, here, <laughs> stare into the nothingness with me. <laughs> Just lying here, thinking to myself. Of all the, all the adrenals and other biochemistries that go on within the body of any multicellular organism. Looking into the brain where the very thoughts of which is to say, the very patterns of electrical impulses that generate EM fields, which have an effect on the biochemistry to the extent of polarizing atoms into position so that they can be properly aligned with one another into different molecules. Um, all the dry, emotionless, bullshit science behind all this. Simply to say that the brain's natural production of various compounds which are found also in nature, such as dimethyltryptamine, DMT, which everyone's brain naturally produces, or THC, which is also naturally produced in the brain, just not in quantities. Not in such massive quantities. Now, the reason that certain yogis and priests of Buddhist and Eastern mysticisms and spiritual pursuits, not necessarily religions. They do meditations that naturally increase these things within the brain. So much to the point where there was one Eastern mystic who was given LSD colloquially referred to as acid and it had absolutely no effect on him because his brain was producing more dimethyltryptamine and naturally than the LSD was as a quantity that was given to him <clears throat> I think that test was done back in what the 60s 70s now what occurs to me is why would any civilization at any level of development having discovered these things occur occurring in nature and also occurring within their own bodies and knowing that it's completely natural why would any civilization seek to stop people from producing these compounds within themselves as well as to seek to stop them from acquiring these compounds from an external source. And in order to answer that question, you must first understand how and why these compounds are naturally produced within the body. You must understand that what the Eastern mystics call enlightenment or oneness is a point where you have aligned 
the various parts of your own anatomy mental emotional spiritual and physical to the point where you're at peace and you're naturally generating these natural adrenals within your own brain and they continue to stimulate that peace why would any society stop that or try to take you away from that naturally no society would they would embrace that <clears throat> but a society that is unnatural corrupt well they'll do everything in their power to stop you now won't they if the use of these naturally occurring compounds naturally generated leads you to a more holistic more peaceful approach to being alive then no one would stop you not naturally it's only the unnatural people the fake people who would try to stop you from achieving peace Now why would they do that? Well it's simple. They're not at peace themselves. And the secondary reasons that stem from that would be jealousy. Which leads to control. Or they're afraid. Those are the only real reasons that any society would stop anyone around it from reaching a level of peacefulness. So think about it. Also, while you're thinking about that, think about this. Pharmaceutical drugs are more toxic and claim more people's lives than weed or cocaine or cancer combined hell pharmaceuticals claim more lives than drunk driving does these are known statistics you can look them up for yourselves and see a year by year or a month by month play out of overdoses whether they're reported or not from pharmaceutical drugs versus pick a so-called illegal drug and insert it here anything that's natural don't go with heavily um, processed things such as methamphetamines <clears throat> there's one place where uh, where you have to logically and naturally draw a line Cocaine is the extract Nova Coquina. It comes out of the cocoa bean. It's naturally in chocolate before they remove it. 
THC is in a plant. And it's also one of those compounds that's naturally formed inside your physical brain. So just think about those things. And maybe you'll see some light at the end of your tunnel.